Oh yeah, it's that time again. Time for some Dew news with your host, King of Dew. If you can't tell, I'm in a great mood today. Uh, man, when I get home from work and I've had a long, hard day, you guys pick me up like you wouldn't believe. I, today I had record-breaking comments, uh, tons of people following the channel, having awesome conversations. I just got done replying to a ton of comments, and I got an amazing comment that got me really excited. Uh, I, I saw some more donations coming in. It's just it's just blowing my mind, and I'm having a great time. You guys really, really uh, inspire me. So thank you so much for that. But I'm here to bring you the news, and that's what you really, really want, right? So I just did a Steam It introduction video, uh, which uh, if you want to know more about me, um, that's a great video to watch. It's not my traditional news or bringing you some new information, but... Um, if you want to know more about me and my channel, check that out. Um, it was just posted, so you can find that um, on my channel. Just go ahead and check that out. Okay, so, news today. If you haven't heard, BAT was like done before anyone said it started. Um, in three blocks, uh, basically the entire ICO was completed. Um, so, the fastest ICO basically of all time... Um, 40 million dollars in like an instant essentially um just insane right with that being said uh there's some reports coming out and um you know i don't know how credible the sources are because all this has happened today right so i'm just seeing this and i'm just bringing you guys what i'm learning but the initial uh post that i actually saw from reddit was that 99 percent 99 percent of uh bat is being held by 100 people, 100 addresses rather. They actually might be the same people, same group of people. I don't know what the solution is for these ICOs, but here we have a problem. This is not okay, especially for ICOs that are gonna have some type of governance built in we have a problem in our community right now with these ICOs. People are money hungry. People are basically increasing how much they want and they're getting it. And they're getting it with no questions asked. No one's really challenging anyone as hard as they should be. Um, it's completely crazy. There is so much belief and faith in this technology that there's also a little bit of well, I believe in it so much, I'm going to ignore this tangible fact sitting right in front of me. Got to be careful, guys. But all that being said, um, this isn't good. It's a kind of a form of uh, centralization, in a way, in that all the money, all the wealth is held up within 100 addresses. Again, that could be less than 100 people. It could be a group of people that own most of it, and right? And they're going to be able to basically have full control and manipulate however they see fit um so i don't know what to say uh about bat other than uh tread lightly if you got lucky enough to get in i couldn't even begin to forecast what will happen if they hold the supply 100 percent of it will go to the moon if they release it all you basically lost everything like, it's not going to be worth anything. There'll be so much out there. Um, and uh, the whales just, they have too, they have control over the markets. They're going to decide when it goes up, decide when it goes down, more than any other market I've ever seen. It's crazy. Um, anyhow, just, just be aware of, of that. Um, I think it's really, really important as a community we continue to talk and have conversations about how we actually can resolve these ICO issues. Um, you know, anything we can do to make it slightly more difficult for whales to get in would help. Maybe put a cap per address. Um, but that seems like an elementary idea. Like, to, like I, you know, I don't know. I don't have the answer. Hopefully, someone out there does, and they're working on it. Um. I talked about NIM in my video last night. Holy NIM! It was like one hour later, I sit back down. I'm like, what happened to NIM? And I'm getting online. I'm like, is there news? Is there news? What's going on? What's going on? Um, 
There wasn't news, but they actually did some marketing for the first time. They actually have like a, a pros and cons um, posted on their site. So we saw some uh, hints at Consensus 2017 that, oh my gosh, did they, did they like hire someone to do marketing? Like there was actually a booth, mind blown. Um, they were giving out little pins, mind blown. Um, <laughs> like these are the first time where anyone's ever seen anything like Nim. Um, it was funny. I remember even um, on Crypto's live stream, he was interviewing someone, and we saw the Nim badge, and everyone was like, "I want one. Where do I buy a Nim badge?" Um, first time we've ever seen it. So anyhow, Nim blew up right after my video so i hope some people were able to buy cheap it came back down after it blew up but then it's back up again um it uh is showing an upward trend right now um and uh, i think that it's actually recorrecting properly based on the amount of money in the markets uh the last time we had this much money in the markets we were hitting 25 cents um and it, literally we've seen the market basically recover from that initial sell-off that we had a week ago um We've basically recovered, but NIM never did. And it feels like it's finally recovering. Um, so you may have missed out on that opportunity. That was my number one recommendation yesterday to buy NIM on the cheap. Um, you know, uh, if you can afford a node, NIM, uh, a node on NIM, I would recommend it. If you don't know what a node is, um, there's plenty of information out there. I'm not gonna cover that in this video. I should do a video on that for you guys. Um, I'll make a note of that, but um, if you can afford one or multiple, uh, I'd recommend it. Um, you know, there's there, it's pretty cool to be a part of a community like that and actually contribute. Um, and it's really, really exciting because there's they, they got a lot of big news coming out soon this summer with Catapult, and uh, it's going to be great. And don't forget, guys, it's a top five blockchain. It's staring you in the face. Do you know, do you really understand the, one of the biggest blockchain solutions that are that are out there right now. Do you really understand it? So th that's my challenge to you in this video, guys. Go learn more about it. Have a deeper understanding. And this one actually requires homework. It's hard because um, it's it's from my, my understanding, the majority of the work is coming out of like Japan and Asia, and um, so a lot of stuff doesn't get translated well. Right? It's really easy for you and me to understand Vitalik when he speaks right um and so when we see videos and he talks about it we can see the genius and understand the genius about behind ethereum um there's plenty of people who are geniuses working in and around like bitcoin and, and we can we can understand it we can uh digest it um nim is a little bit harder um so it's it's great that they're they're finally doing some marketing and they updated the website with some pros and cons i'll probably do another video on that reviewing those with you guys um just do doing some homework on your behalf so maybe you can listen on the drive home okay um other than that um i actually had a question about nim uh i, I got i've been getting a lot of nim donations which is great i get all kinds of different cryptocurrency donations and it's super thankful for it but i actually got an interesting one that was actually encrypted um and encryption actually costs eight nim so it costs way more than a traditional transaction like many people will send me nim and they leave really kind words and messages and i'm super thankful for it um but this one was encrypted so there's some type of message but it's encrypted all that being said um that's the first time i've encountered this and so i chose not to open the encryption to see what it was i don't know if it's a message I don't, I don't know if it's some kind of, you know, could it be a virus? I actually don't have a clue because I've never seen it before. So if you um, are familiar with NIM, if you use NIM or, or you're programming on it and you really, really understand NIM, can you help me understand that? Because um, I got on uh, to the Reddit and I couldn't find answers and I, I kind of want to click it, but I also don't want to click it so just kind of a weird thing that happened so if if you're out there if you're the person who encrypted i am assuming you know more than i do about him please identify yourself so one i can thank you and two hopefully you can help me understand what the encryption is so just a random thought all right
the RAI DAO. Now I did a video on this and believe it or not, I got a direct response. Now I'm assuming that this is them based on the way they're talking about it. Um, they're on YouTube. You can go back to the video and actually see this response yourself. Um, they left a response for us last night and uh, I was blown away. Super humbling to have someone actually that represents um, their business solution present answers to things that I was questioning and asking about. Okay, so I'm going to read you their response in this video because uh, one, I'm just super excited about it. Um, and uh, two, I, I, think, I think the fact that they spent that time to really answer some questions, I deserve, they deserve uh, for me to share with the whole community, the people who are watching each video, uh, the actual response. So, um, now they don't speak English, so some of this may be broken, so bear with me. Um, hey, thanks for taking the time to review our white paper. Just wanted to comment on the issues that you mentioned. Your note on the vagueness of trust needed for co-ownership in the traditional sense. Imagine if you are co-buying a piece of property with one other person. You need to trust that person or know that person well before you both put your name on the title or deed. Otherwise, the other party can easily lock up the ownership. For example, say price is good and you want to sell. The other person can hold his ground and reject the sale process. With tokens, this won't be the case. So that's an interesting concept, right? Um, the sense that um, when the deal is, when you guys shake hands, there's no going back. You can't pull out of the deal. So that's that's kind of a cool, it's smart contracts concepts, right? Number two, response to the spelling errors. I mentioned there were some spelling errors. Um, they say that English is not their native language and they're, they're a small team naturally. Um, but they just wanted, you know, they were actually grateful for me pointing that out. Um, they were using UK English on the document, not American. Um, so just, just keep that in mind. So hopefully they update their white paper. Um, and that's pretty cool if they do. And it shows that they're on top of it. And that they're, you know, they're going to uh, uh, be the type of company or solution that uh, responds quickly to uh, and well to criticism and so far that's what I'm seeing here and so that's really exciting number three on trust company that's in quotes different jurisdictions have different interpretation and treatment for what a trust company is for example in Greece they do not recognize it at all right so in the white paper I was talking about how there's a trust right that's going to essentially do hold all the paperwork essentially and all the ownership okay of these properties Generally, the reason why we use the trust structure um, is because the legal framework has not really caught up with the blockchain technology. For example, we cannot really buy a piece of property and put on the title deed that the owners are token holders. We, we need to really work within the current legal framework. Um, trust is just, uh, you know, the trust concept is an established structure that exists which I agree with. It is an established concept. Also to uh, note, trust, again in quotes, is a regulated industry so that the scenario you mentioned can't happen. The trust company cannot just run away with the properties. They are regulated licensed with the jurisdiction they are operating with. So that's fantastic. Now I'm a lot more interested in, in, in what they're offering, right? Now, now it's like, oh, okay. Um... So it's all going to be legal. The government's going to be involved overseeing it. Um, I guess I'm just, it's, to me, that's still just really complicated with all the different governments. And so that's a huge thing to, to tackle. Also, the trust that they choose is going to be critically important. Um, super important. I think, I think uh, that will make or break the entire project. Um, so it'll be interesting to see um, who they find that's willing to work with them because there's going to the the, the well-known established trusts in the world may not maybe but they may not be interested in this new technology or they just don't understand it so they you know they may have they may have to be forced to settle just so they can actually bring the concept to us right um 
and I think it's critical. I think I think that that's one of the most important things that will be um, that will be considered during uh, the investment period or the consideration period when when all of us are considering whether we want to put our money into this or not. Um, that's really really important. That the trust company one is defined clearly. We know who it is because if it's if it's done later, that's I don't know. It's like it's like imagine you own a coin and you're sitting here waiting for the news to break on the trust company and what if it's what if it's a bad one but what if it's the best one ever super high risk super high reward that's how that's where i'm at right now and how i would approach this um is i would only put what i'm willing to lose our next step is actually doing a proof of concept to make sure the legal structure holds up so it is important to note that we are not claiming that what we do is um, production level yet um, not so much on the tech but the legal structure we are forming because this is a proof of concept we will start really small initially and then we will scale up to actual use in case implementation hope this clears something up thanks again so super awesome again to get that response I uh, really really appreciate whoever took the time to uh, give us that information over there uh, you guys are awesome Again, as I said in the video, I definitely support the concept that you guys are working on. I'm a huge fan, and I hope you guys pull it off. Because if you pull it off, you're literally making like history. Like you're changing the world, um, and uh, giving uh, real estate investment as an as a as a investment vehicle to everybody, and that's really really cool. So, anyhow, guys, that's all I got for you today. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, if you enjoyed this content, like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Steemit, uh, upvote me on Steemit, and as always, I am the king of do. May the force be with you.